Hello guys and uh, welcome to this tutorial. Today we are going to work on this uh, menu reveal animation. As you see there, there is a few things going on here. When we click on the hamburger we have of course the reveal effects from the circular animation and we do have a change here in the hamburger. Actually this is custom HTML code. So the hamburger transforming to a cross and the background color is changing as well. Also, we have the staggering effect on the menu items. So they are going up and down. Okay, and the over effect with this cross going on when we over each menu item. Okay, we are going to work on that and dive into the code and open DV. So, I already created this sample uh, page and uh, I just added some default modules from DV here. And as you can see, we have no menus yet. So, we are going to download the JSON file from the blog article. If you are watching this video from YouTube, make sure to check the description of this video and I will have a link to my blog article and then we, you are going to be able to download the JSON file and just upload to your own website. So I already did this and I'm going to create here in DV Team Builder. I'm going to create a custom header, build a custom header. And we are going to import our JSON file click on build from scratch you can ignore this and we are going to okay how do you go just going to hide the bar okay we are going to portability options import and here we are going to drag our JSON files here replace existing content and imports okay we are not going to work on the on the design frame but we are going to do wireframe because it's a bit of a mess since we are using a lot of custom code so as you can see we have two sections the first one is composed of the css and the javascript uh, codes. We are going to check that in a minute. And the second section is actually the nav bar and the reveal menu, which are separated in two different sections. The first section, the nav bar, which is, which is uh, built using Flexbox. Uh, unfortunately, Flexbox is not yet a native uh, option in DV. So we had to use uh, custom CSS codes in order to to make out our uh, navbar responsive using Flexbox. And uh, it's composed of two modules, a logo image, which is a simple image module. You can change your logo by changing the image inside. And of course, the uh, hamburger, which is, like I said, an HTML code. Actually, the hamburger that we are using right now is a checkbox. And of course, we are hiding the checkbox, but the checkbox is really useful to have the open and close states that we are using to style our, our hamburger and cross icons. Okay. The reveal menu is a simple, <coughs> I'm sorry, it's a re simple fixed <coughs> menu, as you can see. Oh, I'm not sure it's, it's, it's here, but as you can see, the function here at the black background color you can change the background color of course that you want and inside of the reveal menu there is the simple menu so you can uh, change of course the menu that you want we're just going to use this one for the moment and we are going to save this and of course uh, save it inside the team builder options and we are going to check on the front end the result and refreshing the page and we have the 
nav bar here. So it's, it looks like it's working correctly. The nav bar is fixed on the top. And let's click on the hamburger and we see the reveal animation and our menu is displaying correctly. Let's close it and it's working. It's working in the middle of the, of the page as well. Okay. So we are now going to dive into the code and try to change some colors and uh, see how it works. So let's go back here and let's open our menu. Okay, let's go back in the wireframes view and let's open CSS. As you can see here, the CSS have different sections. I decided to separate them in four different sections. The first one is the CSS variables. I'm going to talk about it in a second. The second section is all the CSS that are applying to the front end and it's around 200 of line of codes. And I'm not going to come to explain each, each of these uh, CSS, but I'm going just to give you a general idea of what is going on in here. The third section is the K-frames animation. We are using uh, two different K-frames animation, a fading one and a fade out one. We are using it on the menu items to create the reveal effect once we open the menu and the menu items just show in a in a transit in a nice transition way okay using the fade in and the fade out animation the last section is the less relevant for you probably it's all the css that apply that are applying on the back end so on the visual builder view only it was made just to avoid the mess that you can see here and try to to have the things a little bit more organized and well it's 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 anyway a mess but it's just a, a less than uh, without it believe me okay so um this is for the css uh, let's go into the first section and just talk Two seconds about this section the first one the variables as you see uh, i created six uh, different uh, variables uh, it should be self-explanatory but uh, uh, the first one is uh, hamburger menu strike color when the menu is closed the hamburger uh, the hamburger menu background color when it's closed the hamburger menu strike color when it's open and the background color when it's open I'm always referring to this color, so this black when it's closed and the bars are white when it's closed and the background here is red when it's open and the cross is white. Okay, the over strike I'm referring to the over effect strike that goes on over here and the order number is referring to the little numbers that are in front of our menu items. You can change this color as well. So you don't have to know CSS and uh, dive into the, each line of code to change and adapt the, the color palette here. If you just want to, let's say, change the background color when it's open, you can just change this variable, set it for uh, to orange, for example, save, and let's see if the background color of our menu will be orange. And it is orange, not ready anymore. Okay, it was just an example. Let's just do the same with the order number, and we make it green this time. Let's just save and go into our menu, just refresh. And we see that the numbers are green here. Okay, so it should be pretty easy for you to customize the colors and match the brand of your website. Let's go back to the web. Okay. Okay, that's it for the variables. Um, I'm not going to as I said before, to explain every code here, but just make sure to 
apply so the first the first two one here um we are we are not using the desktop menu so as you know you probably know uh dv um as the default is outputting two uh, different mobile, uh, two different menus, one for mobile and one for desktop. Since we are using the hamburger even on desktop view, we are hiding the desktop one, and we just we are just using the mobile version of the menu. So, for example, if you go to the menu, go to design and the drop down, and you want to um change the color of the menu you are going to change these properties of the mobile menu just ignore the menu dedicated to the desktop since it's hidden okay let's come back to the css and check uh, here so uh as anticipated before we are using two different keyframes to animate the uh, menu items. So here you can see the selector to the menu items. And we are using an animation which is called fade in, fade out, and fade in based on the data open attribute assigned to the hamburger. Um, as you see on our menu, all the menu items are staggering, so they are not showing the same time, but there is a delay between each menu item. We are applying this delay by making a, making a simple calculation of a, a CSS variable, which is called order. Here, multiply 100 milliseconds. What is the order in this case? Let's just inspect our menu items we have three menu items the first one is agency the second one is about us and the third one here is contact as you can see on the top let me let me zoom in here you can see the, in the element here a custom variable called order in this case the value is zero now if i go to if I go to the second, uh, sorry, the second item, okay, you will find the order variable with, with the value of one and the last one, which is here, will have a value of two. Okay, let's go back to normal. And what does that mean? It means that since each menu items have a different order value and we calculate this order to to make multiply a multiplication of a hundred milliseconds it means that the delay will be different for each item so the first one the value is zero per a hundred millisecond it would be zero delay right and here the same the second item will have a value of one per 100 millisecond it will be a hundred millisecond delay so the second item will have a hundred millisecond delay the second one is the same two per 100 millisecond is 200 and will have a delay of 200 milliseconds that's how we are creating the animation delay and the staggering animation or do we apply this order variable to each uh, animation we are using a simple loop function in javascript and we are here um, targeting all the menu items and for each item we are adding this CSS variable called order, and we are assigning a value which increments in the loop. So the first one will be zero, the second one will be uh, one, the next one will be two, etc., etc., etc. So it's calculating automatically the number of items and. Um, 
and the order uh, in order to create the staggering effect will be calculated automatically with JavaScript. Okay, uh, since we are in the JavaScript uh, file, we are going to check uh, the first row here, which is importing a, a an external, an external library, which is called Circular Revealer, and it's used to um, control the circular animation when we click on the hamburger. And in order to make it work, we need to initialize the uh, function and the code to initialize it is this one. We just have to create two selectors. The first one is the section that we are going to reveal. And in this case, it is our row with the menu and the anchor selector, which is the uh, targeting uh, selector in order, in order to trigger the animation. It's pretty simple. At the end of the of the of the JavaScript file, we have the function that control the data attribute assigned to our menu in order to apply the animation, the CSS animation that we just saw before. Okay, and um, what am I missing yet? Okay, let's just see here. We talked about the animation, the keyframes animation, the delay. Oh, we calculated the delay. Let's talk about um, the strike over effect and the numbers added. We are here. It's pretty easy. We are using a custom property, CSS property. You uh, call counters that we call menu order and we are using the decimal leading zero. So in this case, we are, we are creating a before element, okay, that will create this number just before the menu item here, okay? And this menu order are going to increase um, automatically. Okay, so you don't have to um, calculate it or insert manually. It will just uh, list automatically. And uh, of course, the the strike uh, it's a it's a it's a really easy effect with a, a scale three D uh, property. So uh, I commented the code. So here's an over animation on the new items. You have the code of the strike here, which is uh, initially on opacity zero and on scale uh, zero. And when it's over, the opacity is going to one and scale to one as well. So in, uh, in, uh, in, in this way, you have this, this cool effect of the strike going from right to left, which I think is pretty cool. Okay, um, I I would stop here. Personally, I don't think uh, it's it's already a lot of information. I I completely understand if if it can be overwhelming uh, if you are not uh, uh, pretty versed uh, into into CSS and custom JavaScript. Just my my advice here is to is to take these uh, these guidelines and just play with the code and just change uh, your logo, the colors, and uh, check the code and uh, and see and see by yourself uh, what what you can do by changing some animation or or anything. But uh, of course, if you are not. Uh, a CSS expert or a JavaScript expert, it will, it will, it should work anyway, and uh, and this is the goal of this tutorial. Okay, uh, this is my first freebie uh, for the DV community, and uh, let me know in the comments if you if you enjoy this format and uh, if uh, if it's helpful for you and uh, let me know if something was not clear, and I'm happy to jump into the comment in the in the blog article to make it uh, 
uh, more easy for you. And uh, if you have any consideration or anything you want to, to talk about, feel free to reach me and uh, I'm happy to, to connect with you. See you guys and uh, let's talk and let's see each other for the next freebie. Bye-bye.